I've come to capture the waterfalls and cascades on Wyveburn. Why not come with me? Well, good afternoon and you find me out for another what probably will be a relatively short walk. I've parked at the Steel End car park at the bottom end, um, or top end, <laughs> the southern end shall we say, of Thirlmere and I'm going up Wyburn to photograph some of the cascades and waterfalls that are on the burn. Um, some months ago now, probably even as far as six months ago I did come up this way and I think I maybe photographed one or maybe two of the Cascades stroke waterfalls but I was going up up to Ulscarf into the high fells and then I came round dropped down to Harrop Tarn and then my way, made my way back to the car park whereas this time I'm just going to go up the burn capture some images and then come back. I will put up up, up, up there um, a link to the video when I did do that walk. So yeah I mean the weather's not brilliant it's meant to be sunny intervals and showers and that's always a good a good time to um, capture waterfalls cascades. There could be <laughs> It could be quite difficult because we've had an awful lot of rain over the last few days. Uh, we've had a, a storm through, I think it was Linda, Storm Linda. So there's been an awful lot of rain. So the burn is probably coming down at a rate of knots. So we'll have to see how we get on. But anyway, we'll carry on and we'll find our first composition and we'll see you a little bit later.
right. I'll raise my voice because there's quite a bit of noise from the waterfall. So we've come to our first proper composition with the camera on the tripod, etc. On the way up I did take, um, I think it was at least one handheld image and some images with the drone, which if they're any good you'll have seen on the video of walking up here. But this is the first sort of proper real waterfall, cascades, whatever. So what we're going to do is I'm going to and, um, make sure I'm recording on this <laughs> DJI Pocket 2 and then I'm going to record on the stills camera as well. I apologise for the last video where for some reason I didn't actually um, press the record button on on the, uh, the video camera. But now we'll bring the, the stills camera up and you can see the waterfall. And what we've had to be aware of is there's a tree here. You can see the tree in the video camera there. So it's getting the right angle because if we come across here you can see that the tree is starting to, to get in the way. So we've come across to try and minimise the tree. Um, just to remind you, the video on the camera is um, 9 by 6 or 16 by 9, whereas the images are 3 by 2. So in the very top of the camera, the image will have the sky there. But you can see we've got that. And we're, we're not particularly zoomed in, we're um, probably about 28 mil. And what I am going to do, I'm just going to, I've taken a number of images at different shutter speeds to, to get the, the different effects. But what I am proposing is then zooming in on this bit here and just trying to get some images of that bit there um, before we then move up. I don't know whether you've seen in the B-roll, there's another, there's more cascades as we go further up. So. Yeah, and you'll see, if I show the back of the camera, the settings uh, that we had when we had the, an ND filter on, etc. So, yeah, hopefully, um, fellas will turn out quite good. Uh, we'll just stop the, the still camera there. There was some other falls on the way up, but they're in a bit of a gorge or canyon, and uh, I couldn't see any easy way of getting anywhere near them to even see what they were like, whether to, to actually photograph them. So yeah, we'll photograph, we'll zoom in on the bit there, we'll try and photograph that and then we'll head up a bit further. So and we'll put the images up after we've got them and we'll see you a little bit later.
Right, well we've made it to the top falls and we've taken quite a few images. Um, if I zoom in, you can see that there's the camera there and at the moment it's got the long lens on the 70 to 200 and it's actually zoomed in to the bit in the middle of the frame there to get a bit more intimate and then I have taken images at various shutter speeds of the whole falls and they're very impressive I and mean, it'd be interesting to come some other time of year when there's not quite so much water but what I did to start off with I came down here and did some very long exposures just trying to get the show of the bubbles moving around they weren't quite going around in circles as I thought but it makes an interesting image so we got, we got those the only problem I've got here and why I've come back well from the camera where the camera is on those rocks there the rocks are very very slippery so I didn't want to be trying to move around with the video camera while on slippy rocks and I don't know whether we'll be able to see if we, if we come down here whether the thing will come down oh wrong way as you can see here it's very boggy indeed a lot of water so I've just got to be careful um, but I think that will be the our last compositions of the day so we're going to head back back down the valley to the car park to the van and then we're going to head back to Keswick so we'll put those images up and we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we're on our way back down now. So yeah, it's been a I think it's been a good afternoon. Got some I've got a number of images, which is good. Uh, of the waterfalls. I can't remember I did when I came last time I did capture the images of one of them. I can't remember which one because as I said earlier I was heading up higher up so I didn't want to spend the time whereas this time I have it's just unfortunate that <coughs> part way up I think there's some I would have thought there's some good falls but they're in um, a bit of a gully a canyon whatever you want to call it that I couldn't see any way of um, 
getting to it so yeah I'm not sure on that but um, yeah and as you'll have probably seen from the b-roll I've actually crossed over the bridge because um, this lower part there's a footpath both sides of the river and I've come across all the burn wise burn so I've actually crossed over so we're coming down the other side which I haven't actually been on this path this side of the, the burn before so yeah hopefully I'll we'll get us I was thinking it might be a bit smoother but we'll have to see that the top bit of the path is quite difficult it's quite there's quite a lot of rocks and there's quite a lot of water on the path at the moment which can make some of the rocks slippery so yeah I've just got to be careful but um, yeah and what does the future hold I've been as I've been out I've been thinking about this um, at the weekend I'm due to be over in the northeast for the Saturday night meeting my monthly meeting so the, but I was thinking of maybe possibly going across on the Friday night finding somewhere to stay whether that's camping or guest house or whatever and then having the day in the northeast, somewhere in the northeast, possibly on the Durham coast, Let's seeing what images we could capture there. So that's one thought. And the other thought I've had, um, not next, not this coming week, and not the week, the next, the, the, the following week, but the week after that, it's my aunt. It's her uh, 88th birthday. So I thought I would actually go and visit her. And she lives... Sorry, I'm not looking at the, the camera much, but I'm having to concentrate where I'm putting my feet at the moment. And she lives in Northumberland. And I wouldn't particularly want to spend a huge amount of the day with her just to pop in and see her and say hello and see how she's doing so that was a thought that we could make a day of it and visit some some places I've possibly been before and maybe some places I haven't been um, one place is, is it Dunstanborough Castle which I haven't photographed before obviously there's um, Allenmouth, which is near, not far from where she lives, and the other castle. Oh, what's the other castle near? Ho not Holy Island, um, Bambra, Bambra Castle. So, yeah, I was thinking maybe we could make a day or so of it and get um, a video or videos while we're across there. So that's a couple of things I'm thinking about for the future. And I am, because I'm trying to push the channel, I am doing when things come to mind, and there's been quite a few recently that have come to mind. So we've got, the, we had the Aurora that um, kicked off so we went and did that which was just a short video that we did midweek and then we had another short one because we had the festival of light which yeah I mean that was quite interesting so I am trying to come up with one or two short videos to publish midweek as well as the main one that comes out at five o'clock on a Sunday the midweek ones I've been aiming if I've done one to come out at five o'clock on a Wednesday so we'll have to see how we get on with those it just helps the um, up the statistics of the views and the, the time watching etc so yeah so that's some some thought for the future but yeah we'll get back to the van and we'll head back to Keswick so
we'll see you on the next video.